And I know many of you are probably thinking like, Kat, we thought you loved your job. everybody or maybe it's afternoon it's 10 24 i think that's morning good morning everybody we are about to go to the gym and get an awesome leg workout in won't be filming this one they will be coming soon i promise their workouts will be coming soon i've gotten a lot of comments about them i've also gotten a lot of comments lately asking how i'm not 300 pounds how basically I eat all the stuff that I eat and I don't weigh a ton the truth is I don't eat like that every day in fact I don't even eat like that most days so I figure let's give you a reality check let's stop doing the cheat days on YouTube let me actually show you what I eat most days okay so let's go get some gains let's go get a workout in but just a heads up right now I have not eaten anything the only thing that I've had so far is my iced stoke cold brew with a little bit of creamer and some sweet and low. So anyways, let's go to the gym. <laughs> I'm exhausted. Normally, I would go home right now and make a meal and have a shower, but we don't have food at our house. So instead, I'm gonna go home, shower, run to the grocery store, get some food, and then finally eat. And I would definitely recommend to eat within like, I don't know, 30, 40 minutes after your workout, but you gotta make do with what you got. So let's go home and get a shower in and head over to the grocery store. <laughs> okay, so I just walked in the door. I grabbed some of these gluten-free pretzel crisps. They're like little thin pretzels, but I'm gonna eat probably a handful of these, like this many, and then I'm gonna go jump in the shower. We can go to the grocery store. Okay, so I changed my mind. I'm gonna eat one whole serving of these. Okay, so my husband came home from fishing, so we're both going over to the grocery store now. I'm starving. <laughs> Someone got some snackies. Oh, that looks good though. Yum. Mm. Okay, so picked up a vitamin water. I haven't had one of these in forever. Since I used to play volleyball in high school is when I used to drink them all the time and it wasn't the zeros. I drink the real stuff. Um, but this one has four grams of carbs so I just threw it into my fitness pal and tracked it. We're on our way home and I will show you everything that we bought whenever we get there. So let's go. Okay, so starting over here, we got Diet Lemonade, Diet Mountain Dew, Diet Dr. Pepper, we have some Diet Green Tea, Diet Arnold Palmer, and two Stoke Cold Brew Coffees. These are my absolute favorite. As you can see, we don't drink real sodas, diet only. Okay, so then coming over here, we got some basmati rice in the ready packs. These are nice because I can take them on a trip with me, and it's about two servings because there's 44 grams of carbs, per serving, so times two, so that's nice. I also like these because I can take these on a trip as well, and they're just like little instant mashed potatoes, 20 grams of carbs per thing. Um, sometimes I'll make like a salad, like a chicken salad, and have one of those on the side also. Then we got some pudding, sugar-free uh, chocolate vanilla swirl. We don't usually eat this stuff, to be honest, but it looked really good and we wanted to switch it up. Need attention over there? Oh, boo boo. Okay, so we got some sugar-free jello. Now this is like a simple snack that we both actually enjoy quite frequently. So it has no fat, no carbs, one gram of protein. And then with this, we also like to get Cool Whip, so we'll just put like a dollop of Cool Whip on top. And we just normally get the regular. Every now and again we'll get the light or fat free, but usually just the regular. We got snackies that <laughs> were at the counter. My husband wanted those. And I wanted that. 
All right, and then we got some protein spaghetti. We've been having a hankering for spaghetti, so this is a go-to of ours. With over here, we got some 96 for lean ground beef, so that will go with that. And also, over here we got some spicy pasta sauce. I don't usually eat this one, to be honest. We usually like the one from Emerald, um, but they didn't have it, so went ahead and got that. Then we got some steamable broccoli florets, so some veggies. I've never had these, but I really wanna try them, so picked up some zucchini veggie spirals. There's literally like almost nothing in them at all. Also got some dressing. I'm obsessed with this stuff. It's so good. For two tablespoons is only 45 calories, which is really nice. My husband's been having a craving for pot pie. We definitely don't eat this, but we picked one up. We got some large brown eggs, white brown. I don't really care. We go through a lot of eggs and egg whites. He picked up some bananas. We got some sugar-free or no added sugar ketchup. This stuff is so good and there's only one gram of carbs per tablespoon, which is nice. Then we got some Dave's Killer Bread. This stuff is so good, super, super good. Even like if you do like salmon or cream cheese on it, it's really, really good or like, I don't know, just any sandwich. Grab two bags of romaine. I love salads. I eat a salad almost every single day, so grab some of that. Grabbed an English cucumber, grabbed some avocados, a red onion, and then my husband really likes apples, so he got four apples for himself. But then I love this stuff, we both do, just because it's so easy. It's literally like already cooked, so you just throw it in a pan and like heat it up. But I can also take this on the go, so I'm obsessed with the stuff. And it comes in like a small bag like this, or it comes in like a bigger bag that's like family sized. So we got a few small bags of this. So there's six ounces in each small bag. So we got four rotisserie ones and then two chicken fajita ones. We also looked to grab some tzatziki sauce because they still have pretzels in there, but they didn't have it. We were wanting some salmon also, but it looked kind of not great, so we didn't pick any of that up. I'm gonna go ahead and put all this stuff away and then let's start cooking. <laughs> also, for anybody interested, this is the tzatziki sauce that I usually like with the pretzels. 40 calories for two tablespoons, two grams carb, one gram protein, and 3.5 grams fat. And it is so bomb. Okay, so first meal, I'm gonna have a salad with a whole bag of this. Um, probably about half of this. Add some avocado, onion, cucumber, croutons, jalapenos, and a serving of this stuff. And then also because I need some carbs, I'm gonna go ahead and have one of these as well. I think we're doing spaghetti tonight, so I do wanna save up some carbs for spaghetti. I love you too. I love you too. So everything is done. There's the salad and the potatoes. Now time to eat. Okay, so I just went into the app again and went to lunch and scanned in all my food. So the potatoes, the chicken, dressing, the croutons, and then I eyeballed the avocado. I guessed it around 75 grams. Um, the lettuce, eyeballed this, and there you go. So right now it's about 2.32 and we are a little under 600 calories in. Okay, so it's 3.52. <laughs> I'm gonna end up having one of these and so is my husband.
this. Someone got the whipped cream. I'm gonna see if I can what eat is this. this. Pudding wasn't very good. So we're gonna try and get a better snacky if possible. The question is, <laughs> can she eat it? She can. She tracked it and she can eat it. So. My husband is about to eat this thing. So I tracked the whole thing, but I'm not a big milk chocolate fan, and so I didn't want that. I don't know how to untrack it. So we're just gonna go ahead and leave it in there, but I do mm. want y'all to know I didn't end up eating that. Just track Reese's Pieces. Seven Reese's Pieces? Oh. Okay, I'm gonna delete it and retrack seven Reese's Pieces. Okay. So obviously by the title thumbnail conversation, you can kind of get the gist that I am taking a VLOA, which is a voluntary leave of absence. So essentially I am taking a leave off for the entire month of February. So that means I will not be flying. I'm not allowed to pick up flying. And I know many of you are probably thinking like, Kat, we thought you loved your job, which I do. I love my job. I love my company. I love my coworkers. I love every single thing about it. Commuting is not the funnest, which I've kind of explained to you, but all that aside, I still love, 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 love this job. So I know you're probably thinking then, why are you taking a leave? <laughs> and truth be told, I am actually getting a breast augmentation done next month. If you are not pro plastic surgery, I totally understand. I'm not here to judge what you want to do or your choices or anything. And I hope that you're not here to judge me. Honestly, it's just kind of all about respect. I will respect your opinions, your choices. I love, love, love your opinions on a lot of things, even if they're totally different than mine. This is going to be one that honestly, I'm not really going to care too much about other people's opinions, truthfully, because my body, my choice. I mean, you're more than welcome to let me know your opinion. I don't mind hearing you out, but I'm I'm not going to be taking any of them into consideration. I'm sorry, once again, my body, my choice. Not the point of this. If that is something y'all wanna see, please let me know down in the comments below because I have no problem filming like my journey, pre-op, post-op, consultation, all that good stuff. I can definitely do that for you if that is something that y'all wanna see. If not, totally understandable. This isn't a plastic surgery channel, so I definitely get it. But I do try to be very honest and open and I do wanna give y'all as much information as possible. So if that is something y'all wanna check out, let me know. Back to why I got my VLOA. So essentially, I've already done my first consultation. I will do another consultation two weeks prior to my surgery date. But at the first consultation, I did talk to them about my job and kind of clearing me to fly again. And my doctors did tell me to wait at least two weeks before flying again. So I knew I had vacation and I did want to wait my two weeks, but also I did talk to some of my friends that are flight attendants that have had theirs done. And many of them said that two weeks is probably not long enough and to wait as long as possible. So essentially that's kind of what I set myself up to do. So my surgery date is actually on February 11th, but since I will be taking a leave of absence for all of February, that will give me at least three weeks of recovery before going back to flying. They really don't want you lifting over 10 pounds. And when you think about it, our suitcases are probably around 50 pounds in our bags. The beverage cart is probably around 100 pounds. So pushing and pulling and all that stuff you really don't wanna do, especially after a major surgery. I will be going under anesthesia. So I've just kind of made the executive decision to take the month off. But what I will try and do is I will try and vlog quite a bit this month. Pretty much any trips that I get that I haven't already done, I'm going to try and vlog and I will sprinkle them out through the month. So that way it'll kind of bridge some of the gaps. So to y'all, it'll still look like I am flying. It'll still be fun to watch, even though I secretly will not be flying. Some of it will just be old footage, but I also have some other stuff in the work. So I will definitely be filming over the entire time. At least that is my anticipation. I do still love my job. I have no intention of quitting. I will be right back at it in March. I have had an extremely busy schedule as of lately, between filming and editing and commuting and flying and building my company, which I'm hoping to launch to you guys super, 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 super soon. So that's really exciting on top of the work that I've been doing for Amazon, which I've been slacking on a little bit, but expect more live videos pretty soon. It's just my schedule has been crazy and I am a one man band. I do this whole thing by myself. I do have my husband to help me here and there, but for the most part, it's all me. So I hope that 
that y'all can bear with me over these next two months. But yeah, just want to give you the update. Now I got to go film another video aside from this one and then I will get you back right into this video to see what else I'm eating for the rest of the day. Look who's back and I just got done filming my other video. So now we're going to go ahead and make some spaghettis. <laughs> Okay, so a half cup is 125 grams, so we're gonna weigh it out right here. There we go, 100, yeah, close enough. Oh, there, Okay, so for anybody who asked for the pasta, I just kind of eyeballed it. I did two servings, which is about a fourth, a little bit more than a fourth of the pasta. And then I did half of the beef. So I did two servings of the beef, which is half. So I just eyeballed those and then I weighed the sauce. Okay, so I already went and put this in there, but I also put my last meal on there as well, just to make sure that I was gonna hit everything. Um, so my last meal up in here, I have two egg whites, four slices of turkey bacon, one whole egg. I'm a little under 1700, so I maybe eat a slice of that killer bread. We'll just kind of see depending on how I feel. Did you already finish your dinner? Oh, there's his. I think I'm eating more than you. Look at the baby dish. <laughs> There's a mama dish. <laughs> okay, gotta do this right. Okay, time to grub. Little update. How's your spaghetti? <clears throat> Spicy. <laughs> yeah, it is. Whew. I was kind of surprised because usually when we get the emeralds, it's like the perfect amount of spice. Well, this is great too. Like I like spicy food, but it's like the perfect like hint of spicy. But this with the red pepper flake, she's spicy. Mm -hmm. It is 7.53. This is as much of the spaghetti as I've left. But right now I'm stupid full. I'm so full. He ate all his. This is much smaller, much smaller portion. But anyways, I'm gonna chill. I'm gonna give myself a break and then I'm gonna get back at it and finish that off. Hi, duty. Oh, hi, friend. Look who got another bowl. Welcome to the big leagues. All done. Okay, gonna let that mellow, chill. Hopefully I'll get a little bit hungry later. I need some iced coffee. It's 9.25, I'm still not hungry, not ready for my last meal, but definitely need some caffeine. It's 11.13, I'm really still not hungry, but gotta get that protein in. So here is my second dinner, whatever you want to call it. Two egg whites, one whole egg with pepper and tapatio, and four turkey bacons, and then the rest of my cold brew. All right, crushed it. We crushed it, huh, Bubba? Thank goodness we are all done with eating for the day. So let's go ahead and go over the macro so I can show you exactly what I ate, calories, fats, carbs, proteins, all that good stuff. So in my fitness pal, I had it set at 1740, but I mean, this really isn't my macros that I have in here. But I usually try to hit between 1700 and 2000, just maintaining. Tonight I did 1685 round about, which is fine. All right, so we're gonna go down to the diary. We have everything tracked in here. 
that we ate, all of our estimates of our food. Now, if I was cutting, I would be weighing everything and be much more precise than just this, but because we're just maintaining, that's fine. Okay, so then we're gonna go ahead and click on food. And so you can see here, I had 132 grams of protein. I did 174 grams of carbs, 21 out of 25 grams of fiber, which that's fine. Minimal sugar, don't really care about that anyhow. Then I did 55 grams of fat. So that was pretty much what I got. And then I'm gonna go take a multivitamin just in case like I didn't hit any of these micro stuff. I'll have a multi in there. So this is like what a typical day of eating on my normal life is like. So maybe now you'll see why I'm not 300 pounds and that I don't just eat donuts all day every day. Although I would genuinely love to, I would feel like crap. So I just don't do it. So hope you guys enjoyed it. Please give this video a thumbs up if you liked it or if you wanna see more content like this. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye.